So let's talk about automatic connections in ePlan. As you know, most of these connections, when you draw a uh, symbol, uh, one next to each other, they actually connect straight up uh, very quickly. This is picked out of our tutorial here. Very easy, just you know, insert symbols, place the symbols, and you can see that these connections line up straight with another symbol that might be in line. So sometimes we draw vertical, sometimes we draw horizontal, doesn't really matter. The point is this is a wire. But sometimes, let's just stop this, sometimes it's not exactly the way I want it. So I'll show you an interesting um, cloud here, ePulse. Every ePlan user can actually go on there, sign up uh, and open and load up some projects, which I did a little bit earlier. It's a North American project that I generated. And the reason why I'm showing you this here is I want to show you a typical case where, of course, this is just an ePlan project. As we drill it down, we have here some schematics. And exactly in this area here, sometimes when you plug your motor, well, you realize that the, in this case, it's a transfer belt, that the uh, belt turns in the wrong direction. So what you have to do Exactly in this area here, you have to ask the electrician to actually rotate the wire around. So basically you have to uh, take what is on T2, connect it there, connect it there, and this will actually rotate it. Sometimes the people will do it between one and two, sometimes between one and three, it doesn't really matter. And of course this will change overall the connections down here because this terminal that is 2T1, 2T1 right now, if I drill it in, is connected, uh, 2T1 is connected to the pin 2 of the overload on one side, and on the other side, it's connected to U1. So right in this area here, this will also somewhat change because I decided to basically flip these two around, right? So this is my redlining. I'm just going to call it motor turns the wrong way. <laughs> and this is basically my, my redlining, so I'm, I'm going to just uh, review it. And of course, in the review, I'm going to add, uh, please use diagonal connections, diagonal connections to resolve this issue. So of course, I know how this is, and that's it. And of course, I could go and check out other parts of the schematics here. And you know, this is cool because when you click on something, you can see what part numbers these are. Uh, you can go on a specific item, and then you can even look at where this graphic is when you're looking at it, because we can show you, uh, you know, the multi-line schematic or the graphics, or even on a uh, panel layout. Sometimes you actually will place this. So you can see it, you know, in, inside here because we actually also have the uh, 3D panel of this. So really a cool feature, not only for redlining, but also to view uh, overall the schematics. Um, great, absolutely great and, and free, free, free to use. Um, really cool because, um, you know, there is no other way to, to really share this. Uh, it's 3D, so you can see actually if there is a collision between these components. It's it's very tight. You can see here this this fits, but <laughs> barely fits. But I'm lucky; it actually does fit. So perfect. So let's now go to uh, perfectly to ePlan. So these are the different views, isometric views. Let's switch over to ePlan and let's open the ePulse and let's see what this ePulse gives me inside ePlan. Same front end, you log in, you have your organization, you have the eView for free here, which then will connect with the eView out there. I can open the exact same project. And what's interesting is that now, the specific redlining that we have marks up the correct project. You can even see who did it, so you can call the guy, right? So once I'm in here, I will do exactly what we just talked about because I was talking about reversing T1 to V1, and this is where you'll find it. Under connections, you will find the diagonal connection. 
Now, by default, the diagonal connection is not rotated in the right way. So what I'm doing is I'm using the tab button, and I have to rotate it so you can see that it turns around like this. I can, you can also use the control key and then just move your mouse around, and you can see how it rotates either in one direction or the other. This is the one I want. You release the control key, and then you just come and uh, place here the diagonal from there to there. And bingo, you get your reverse connection. Interestingly, is this report I showed you in some tips and tricks earlier. You can just go report update, and you will see here the 2T1 is now connected to V1 instead of U1. So this is actually updated based on the schematics. This was the insert connection symbol here, diagonal. Make sure by default the diagonal is actually intended to connect like in this direction. What you want to do is you want to use the rotate to rotate it like this. So hit the control key, move your key, and then just click and click. Two clicks. Very easy.